And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at MPs' flippant disregard for humanity. This time was in regards to a Parliament debate when Tory MP Liam Fox asked Matt Hancock about the jibby-jabby status of those currently receiving hospital treatment for the so-called Delta variant. When Hancock replied with something that should worry every single one of us. I think that there is a material difference between the state's responsibility to offer the vaccine to all adults and the duty that we have when somebody has not been offered the jibby-jabby is greater than the duty we have when we have offered the jibby-jabby but someone had chosen not to take it up. And there is a material difference between those two situations. Now, I'd like to state that that is multi-tier healthcare. Considering we all pay the same amount into the same tax system that pays for treatment in the NHS, they're now talking openly about multi-tiering it, i.e. if you've been offered a, a jibby-jabby and have not taken it up, for whatever reason, you have less of a right to health care than anybody else. Now, it didn't end there either. Hancock's colleague, Andrea Ledson, interjected and said this. This is just truly, truly authoritarian. Can I take it one step further, she said. If I choose not to say not to have a yellow fever jab when I'm going to a place that suffers yellow fever, the government of the United Kingdom takes no interest whatsoever in my illness. Let me stop you there. That's because you're in a different country. That's got nothing to do with internal. So when my right honourable friend says that he, he has less of a duty, surely what he means is that he has no duty at all. So they're talking about turning people down if you've not been forced into the jibby-jabby. Are we seeing where this is going, everyone? It is for people to take up the vaccine. So effectively force. You either get it or you don't get medical treatment for anything else after. Considering we pay already into this, I want to I want to say, do we get some of that money back now then? Seeing as how we're not getting duty of care in a hospital. Absolutely disgraceful. Now the reply was even better or worse, however you wanted to look at it. Hancock replied, up to a point, and the point is, should you take that as an absolute principle, then there is a challenge. Should there be an overwhelming demand on the NHS? Have we seen an overwhelming demand on the NHS, everyone? that would impact on others and of course with a communicable disease there is an impact on others in terms of spreading the disease so we do have to have an eye on that so in other words i agree with you but i can't openly say i agree with you when she says that people that refuse for whatever reason should be denied nhs treatment even though we pay for it up front throughout our entire working lives in our taxes. Absolutely disgraceful. Shows you where the mindset of the Tories is going and it's absolutely terrifying. But I'd like to know your opinion, everyone. Let me know what you think on this one. How can they just throw humanity in the, in the bin like they are doing? It's absolutely disgraceful. They're talking about multi-tiering everything now. Everything. Now, let's not forget the size of the anti-lockdown protests. This is the amount of people they're talking about ostracizing and they're even doing it with i would personally say offensive language i.e refuse nicks all of the media are using that term refuse nicks that's a derogatory term which in our own laws means a hate crime doesn't it doesn't it you're, you're branding a whole group of people a derogatory term we have eight laws for that hancock and ledson and all the media you lot too if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out everyone, stay sane, I'll see you on the next one.